Hello and welcome to the MBS Show Reviews. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Silver Quill. Magic House Party is the best parties because Magic House Parties don't stop. I forgot where that one came from. Should know it. <laughs> Not to worry. I I actually heard that quote on Freeman's mind. So you know, it's all different. Well, still, um, if you guys don't know what we're doing, we're having a house party. Yay! If you really don't know what we're doing, good. You're we're in the same boat. <laughs> so how does house party do? Like I I think the house walks around, right? No. Apparently, well. Zoni laws can stick it. <laughs> yeah, uh, but honestly, in today's episode review, we are going to review Friends Forever issue thirty-four, uh, featuring Pinkie Pie and Cheese Sandwich. In this issue, Pinkie Pie and Cheese Sandwich become trapped in a magical moving house and must work together in order to escape. So, wait, is this some kind of escape room or something? Well, let's see here. Trapped in a house, have to find an escape route. Surely there's been a game show about this. I know. <laughs> uh, but before I proceed any further, I would like to thank myself, Lag, for sponsoring said issue. Thank you very much, my friend. And well, I hope you will enjoy our review. So before we jump into said review, first impressions are in order. Silver, what do you think? Well, let's see. I, I enjoyed this story just for the sheer funness, but mostly for its presentation of Pinky and Cheese who are often dismissed as flighty or not that bright, but they're actually very competent and strategic in this story. They're still fun party planners. They don't stop being who they are. It's just that you realize who they are is more flexible than we often give them credit. True. And, well, as great party planners, they have to be flexible to predict or to foresee any unexpected events. Is very good time. Mm-hmm, true. Very, very, very good time. Well, what do we think about? Well, not, let's not go to spoilers. And as for me, I like this comic a lot. It's one of those. Uh, I have to be honest. Like this comic made me cry tears of joy. Oh wow! How do I even put this? Because I, I think that goes into spoiler territory. But still, um, I'm very happy with this issue because there's a lot of happiness in this comic. It's rare for me to show emotions, but this one hits the right spot. Like, I think Hayao Miyazaki would be proud of it. Oh, I'm just thinking Howl's Party Castle? I'd be up for that. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoop, whoop. Uh, But anywho, let's head into the review. If you guys have not read this issue, I highly recommend reading this because it is a fun read. Spoilers are ahead. Be warned. So anyway... We start off with a bit of flashback talking about some random ponies building a house and how that house was built with love and somehow Trixie's dad came along and enchanted the house. What? Magical Miasmo's Traveling Spell Shop with two P's and an E. I, is, that, is that like the pretentious way? <laughs> Hang on, I must actually look up S-H-O-P-P-E. Google. Shop. A deliberately archaic spelling of shop used in the hopes of imbuing a store with an old-fashioned charm or quaintness. So, pretentiousness. <laughs> yeah, only hipsters go there. <laughs> oh, the hipsters. Now, I'm going to go to the chape. <laughs> chape. <laughs> yes, the chape. The, the chap. Yes. Actually, appa- apparently it's pronounced... Shop. It's still pronounced shop, but <laughs> I, think you, I, I think you have to add just the right amount of energy. The chap. Why do you have a Brooklyn accent when you say that? Because I don't shop till it drop. <laughs> uh, but still. Can't get a nap. Yeah, forget about it. Yeah, but still, but still. Um, I think the whole of New York is just <laughs> called for my head. Well, you are going to BronyCon. Yeah, but that's in Baltimore. <laughs> True that. But anywho, um, it seems that the house is full of love and... Well, the <laughs> next page we see Pinkie Pie being chased by a house. Wow, all right. What? Yeah, well, well the, the neighborhood's really going downhill. Yeah, I know, ever since Pinkie moved in. <laughs> oh, oh, is that anti-Pinkist? No, no, no. So, but anywho, um, it seems that the house is chasing Pinkie Pie, and I like this joke. <laughs> Go away, I'm in a long-term lease already. <laughs> At which point it gulps her just by falling on top. What would have happened if that door was just a little bit off target? Well, 
Uh, no, mm, well, I think we should rename her to Pinky Pancakes. <laughs> oh, Pinky Cakes. Oh, yay. Uh, this would be known as the Pink Scare. Oh, wow. Well. Uh, but still, but still, um, once uh, Pinky gets trapped into the house, a mysterious voice comes behind Pinky and says, I'm afraid that won't work, Pinkie Pie. And we'll greet the Tucci Sandwich. Yay! Who was apparently hiding in the closet. Tucci Sandwich is coming out of the closet. <laughs> ah, double entendre. Oh, yes. <laughs> but then you say, Tucci Sandwich, I'm not coming out of the closet. So I pull out my gun. <laughs> no, man. Like, y- you have to take the parody version of that. Stuck in a drive-thru. <laughs> Or was it trapped in the drive through? I forgot. But still, um, it seems that the cheese is not alone, and he seems to be having. Uh, he seems to be accompanied by three guests named Pumpkin, Pum- Pumpkin Tweezel, Aurora Muffin, and Java Bolt. I expect Java Bolt to be the one with the most energy of the group. It seems so, and well, um, Pinkie Pie asking for explanation, and you know what. This is why you mentioned that Cheese here is... Well, um, Pinky and Cheese are not... What was you mentioned before, Silver? Well, they're they're not incompetent. Mm. They're, they're adaptive. They're flexible. Uh, unfortunately, Cheese apparently, when they got scooped up, she mentioned that uh, Pinky was one of the greatest party planners, so she, he basically painted a big bullseye on Pinkie Pie. Yeah, true. Well, yeah, unfortunately, but still, um, before that, like, I do like the visual aids to explain the whole current situation. It's so cool. Party sandwich head party. <laughs> and of course, the one where he's buff. Oh, yeah. And, hold, and holding up the, the balloon bunny of doom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, this reminds me of his, uh, movie that he did, uh, he called, uh, UHF. UHF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, where, where he's the Rambo pony. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we need to do that one too, man. Oh, you hit is fun. Oh, Lord, I haven't seen that in ages. Oh, seems so, good. Yeah. <laughs> but anywho, future episode review aside, um, they all, uh, all of the three feelies here, um, put up a visual aid on explaining things. And yeah, they're trapped because the house I don't know what the house wants for now, and it seems that there's no escape from the house. Whatever should they do? Uh, no, we don't know. But uh, basically, you've got three scared foals and two party ponies. You do the math. In all reality, if you think about it, probably being in a panic. But no, surprisingly... Pinkie Pie and Cheese do the smart thing, which is calm everybody down and create a conga line. A conga line of exploring the house. Yes, and and they even whisper to each other, this is the best way to scout things out. You're mobile, you can look around, but you're putting forth all this energy so no one suspects or no, one's, no one lets the mood get to them. True that. And this is why I like like their presentation as comic. They're still being party ponies, but they're party ponies with a purpose. True that. And who can deny the smooth melodic tone of the accordion? Oh uh, yes, the the accordion, God <laughs> God's gift to, to music. I know. I like the accordion when we're else playing it. Second only to the bagpipes. <laughs> uh. But still, um, once the conga line starts, it seems that the house is turning on. Like, it's, it seems to be lighting up. And why? Well, in the next page, we see some flashback. We see that the previous pony who owned the house were having a party, conga line, um, hearts on Eve, even graduation, and even a wedding at their house, hosted by Dr. Hooves. Who knew? Oh wait, is that does that mean this is like the Amy and Rory ponies of this universe? Probably. <laughs> they look like it. I would like that very much. Yes, yeah, it's quite nice. Yes. Uh, but still, um on to the next page. They're all wondering, like, oh what happened? And they it seems that they had a lot of fun and the house kind of lit up. And I think 
Java here said she was sorry to have too much fun, and now you shouldn't be sorry. So they continue to have fun by splatting cheese in the face with a pie. Yes, but the setup was perfect. Pinkie Pie asked, do you have any whipped cream? Uh, sorry, do you have any cream pie? And Cheese Sandwich says, of course I have. What kind of party planner would I be without cream pie? And Pinkie says, he in the face with it. Oh, wow. <laughs> well played, Pinkie Mina. Yes. Well played. And it seems the house brightens up a bit more. And they explore the house to find party things like streamers and whatnot. And Java here founds a collection of soda cans. Soda cans. Oh, they're terrifying. Coco, uh, Crown's own chocolate soda only released one week in Vancouver. <laughs> yes. It's, she, she knows her soda cans and even Pinky doesn't quite get it that this is, you know, a historical, it's a documentation of all the terrible stuff we used to drink back in the day, as opposed to the terrible stuff we drink now. <laughs> True that. And talking about terrible stuff that we drink, Cheese Sandwich and Pumpkin Twist here are exploring the kitchen to find some food, because what's a party without food, right? And I think Pumpkin here asks, um, Hey, Cheese, what's a quinkle? Uh, quinky? Quinkle? Quinkle, right? Yes. Basically, their version of Twinkie. Yeah. And you know how the proper way to eat a Twinkie is? You cut it down the middle and you put a hot dog in it. Well, first off, you're talking about herbivores, so I don't think hot dogs will fly. <laughs> but if you took a carrot and put it in the middle of a Quinkle, you'd have a mixture of healthy and absolutely horrid food. <laughs> so it would probably be like matter and antimatter, just cancel each other out. <laughs> yep, you'll be healthy or not healthy, whatever it is. But still, it seems that Pumpkin here found a box load of them. And so, yay, it seems that even though that it's been like a few years old, the expiration date for this are, well, they last a millennium. So, yay, they're still good. <laughs> so they're still good. And cheese is, is elated. The hearts, the hearts are just shining. Well, it's his favorite food. Like, you remember that one time he got home from work and made a sandwich out of it? Like, he cut it down the middle, put a carrot on it. Yes, indeed. <laughs> we really need to do UHF. That's a fun movie. We got it all. We got it all. <laughs> On UHF. Oh, boy. But anywho, uh, next page, there's more memories of ponies having good times, celebrating um, anniversaries, having um, birthdays, more hearts warming Eve, and more heart-touching stuff like Oh, really, really awesome times. And talking about awesome times, Pinkie Pie, Cheese Sandwich, and the kids are having a lot of fun. And <laughs> Pinkie tries to open the door. Nope, the house knows it's not working. And then Cheese makes a slip up. Oh, what's that? David. Well, he says that it's hard to, they need more fuel for the party. If only they, Pinkie shuts them up. It just says, oh, what? I was just going to say more party goers. <laughs> At which point, Cheese has now doomed a second batch of ponies. As he already set the house on Pinky, now it's going towards Ponyville. Oh no. <laughs> uh, well, it seems that slip up caused the ponies to be in a teasy and a panic. And well, Cheese Sandwich, while, while looking through the uh, bookshelf, accidentally drops a photo album on Pinky. And it seems that the flashback that we're talking about here seems to be related to the house and its previous owners. And it seems that the owners were old and have grown old and moved out. And the house was stony. And I think with all that love and joy that it had, it's... Oh, I'm, I'm tearing up. This is too... How do I this? Um, it gotten lonely and wanted to have that feeling back again. Which is hard because for a party house, everyone eventually has to go home, otherwise they can't start a new party, or they'll just poop out, and then you have a rather gothic horror party. <laughs> yes, and that's what Pinky mentioned, because every party needs to have a start and the end, and that's what makes parties special, because of their... Well, what would she say? Uh, oh, because of their memories that um, they have? But parties are like snowflakes, beautiful and temporary. 
But eventually everybody but, has to leave and go home. Life is like a party and parties aren't meant to last. Oh. But still, uh, with, who knew that Pinky was the realistic one here? But, well, you have Pinkie Pie, but you also have Cheese. And Cheese says, um, does the party really need to stop? Because what Cheese is proposing here is that it's a traveling house party. It's like a bus service, but instead of sitting down, doing nothing and being bored, you get to party. Yay! And of all things, apparently this party house is on its way to Baltimore, which means it's going to BronyCon. Yeah! It seems that the Doctor and Rose are in it. Yay! It's like, oh, this is brilliant! It's like when I wed those two families! <laughs> uh, you know what? I think that magi- magician guy was not responsible for the house being alive. I, I think it's Doctor Hooves here. He's the guy responsible for it. I don't know. The sonic screwdriver does not work on wood. I know. That's the only catch. I know. But if you if you put it in a long time, it takes time to process and it works somehow. <laughs> somehow. Well, it's the doctor. The doctor lies. The doctor dances. And more recently, the doctor falls. <laughs> True. <laughs> but still, the house agrees to the idea of an endless house party and sends back the kids um, or sends back everyone to their proper location and the house seems to be enjoying itself well it's certainly enjoying the dance although at the, as its very last panel where it does a little joy skip how's the how are the people in the house feeling I mean, <laughs> whoa uh, do the wave Woo! <laughs> and with that a few words from our ponies uh, i think pinky says they weren't just parties Best party never are. They're celebrations. Celebrations of the love of family and friends. Housey saw a lifetime of love. Oh, Who wrote this? A lifetime of love. Who wrote this? Oh, that's, that's oh, it. Tom, Tom Saylor. Oh, wow. <sighs> and yeah, I, I, oh, I'm tearing up. Well, if you want, I can make ter- terribly inappropriate jokes to ruin that. No, no, no. Uh, and, really? You sure? Yes, I'm totally sure. You sure? <laughs> and with I, that, episode ends. Uh, Issue ends, or comic ends. So, Silver, what do you think? Oh, this is just a fun one. This is, it's fun, it's lighthearted. This is the kind of world where a, a dancing party house is not too far out of the realm of possibility, mainly because it's Equestria mm-hmm. and cartoon logic. But it's just, it shows Pinky and Cheese at their best. They're not perfect, they're, improv- they're improvising. They both make slip-ups, but they are fun. Fun characters and smart. I appreciate when when they're willing to say there's a method to their madness. Oh, true that, true that. And it makes Pinky here... Well, to be honest, Pinky's not my favorite character. But in this comic, it makes her tolerable and I highly enjoy her. Like, this is one of those comics where I would recommend people getting a physical copy of this because this is good. This is really good. For a minute, I thought you were just going to stop and recommend people get a physical. It's like, well, that's important and good for your health, but really. <laughs> no, no, no. But this is... Time, time, time and place, Norman. <laughs> oh, you. But still, but still. Um, is that all, Silva? I think there's more, right? Well, I think that's the key part of it. I mean, no one feels like dead weight in this. Even the kids are very helpful and have little moments where they get to st- stand out. I like it when the comics have characters that they can call their own. Mm, true that, true that. And I I have to say that the characters here, like every character in this issue doesn't feel like that weight. They, like, okay, the kids obviously are not the main focus here, but they have their moments. You remember most of them. Like, you, you remember uh, Java because she's the soda can aficionado. And also Pumpkin who discovered what a Twinkie is. You know what is a Twinkie? What a Twinkie is? Like she doesn't know because I think they discontinued them. And I, are they back now? I think they're back. Well, right. let's see here. So I never thought I'd be doing a Google search for Twinkies, but here we go. <laughs> the new chocolate peanut butter Twinkie. Good gravy. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have that. I think Twinkies are back and alive. Yay. Uh, uh, what, you don't like Twinkies? Oh, I never said that. I just said, 
I look at them and I'm like, how can something that looks so horrid be so tempting? Oh, because they taste good. And yet now, oh god, now they're all being packaged as little minions. Oh, wow, okay. There, there's something else too. <laughs> the horror. The horror! Oh yeah, true, true that, true that, the horror. Uh, where was I again? Mm, yes, um, uh, personally for me, I like this comic. I highly recommend it. It's a feel good comic. Like, uh, the flashback to the house really set the tone for this comic even though the start of the comics makes the house look like the bad guy here but it's misunderstood and just wants to have that feeling back of love and well now it has new purpose and it will show or it will bring joy to everyone that writes the party i want to say party bus but it's actually the party house so yeah well, as long as it doesn't have to deal with HOAs, <laughs> those will those will kill a party fast. Oh yeah, that ain't fun. That ain't fun. Ah, nah, nah, nah. Uh, but still, Silver, what do you think of the flashbacks? Like, I you you didn't comment anything on it. Oh well, they're sweet. I mean, you can you can track each character and all that they do, so it's quite wonderful. Yeah. Uh, but you're right. It, it, you know, there's not a whole lot you can say beyond it's the doctor. <laughs> Yeah, he's responsible for something. And you won't let me talk about raising a family and witnessing a lifetime of love. Wink, wink. Oh, God. But, <laughs> so, what What else can one say? It is It is a little sad just to see the house, uh, all the ponies retire, they move on, who knows what, what might move, what, what might happen next. Yeah, but still, uh, like, the family, the whole family leaving the house after years of service. That's, that got me. That got me. But still, this issue here is, in my opinion, the best. I'm not gonna put it too high on a pedestal. I'm not gonna put it too low, but it's good. Like, I would re- highly recommend it. If I were to put it on a list, I put it on good. If I were a list man, yabba dabba dabba dibi 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 da. Alrighty. But <clears throat> I need to point out something. Um, is the cover. The cover is a parody on Weird Al's, um, cover album for UHF, was it? I believe so. I'm double. Let's see here. Do, do a little searchy search. Google, save me. Yes. Google saved me too. I need to know because I think I've seen the cover before and I think it's for UHF. Uh, why, why Google is so slow? Oh, here we go. Weird Al Yankovic in 3D. Ah, yes. Yeah, yep. That's the cover. Weird Al in 3D. I, I sincerely hope he'll return to uh, My Little Pony and let us hear Cheese Sandwich much again. I think there's a future for him. Like if Shatner's in the show, I think he could be in it too. So yay, why not, right? Well, who knows? Uh, all the realm of the possible, and the fact we've already, I believe we've confirmed that there's a season eight. Oh, yeah, true that, true that. And well, people seem to be enjoying Weird Al, and why not, right? If he's an uh, enjoyable character, like they have Mod back, why not Cheese? Well, there's always, there's always the matter of hiring and paying for celebrities' vocal time. Uh, true, but still, if it's worth it, it's worth it. Ah, uh, but still. Yes. But still. So, Silver, what are we going to do next week? Well, I believe it is time to get back to the TV show. There's still season seven to cover. Well, we shouldn't be talking about season eight while we're still trying to cover the season seven. Uh, and for that, we we will be talking about Forever Philly, starring Rarity and Sweetie Bell. Oh, wow. That episode is another one. <sighs> well, if you want to talk about tearing up, it's like, ah, oh, precious. I know. Oh, Silver. I forgot to mention that the Equestria Girls magic series is done. Like the whole three sets of um, dance magic, movie magic, and also mirror magic. It's done. So we need to look into that one too and see when we can do it. Ah, uh, yes. We, we must see what we can say about all the Equestria Girls and how they're not ponies. Yep, true. I highly enjoy them. <laughs> well, we shall see. Yes, yes we shall yes. see. But before we head off, I would like to tell people this. If you guys would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MPS show. With every support, you'll get full access to the 
deleted content and also early access to the review and discussion podcasts. And also a huge thank you from us. Uh, and those thank goes to Dr. Cat, Twilight Genesis, Nam Dracotoria Starstream, myself like, and also Jeffrey, thank you so much for the support. And once again, thank you, Master of Leg, for supporting this episode. Because heaven know, if you don't, we will not end this series. Oof. We will continue on until there's no more friends forever to to talk about. Well, to be honest, there's more than friends forever now. Like, after friends forever end, we got, what, the whole history magic thingy? Legends of magic. Yes. yes. <laughs> wow. This right never ends, does it? <laughs> Well, let's hope, let's hope not. I mean, this is something to enjoy. It's kind of like the parties. Sooner or later, everything will, <clears throat> excuse me, everything will move forward. But we enjoy the time and we celebrate the memories. Ah, uh, true. That wise words from a wise man. Memories. In the corner of my eye. I think that's some dust. <laughs> oh, well, anyway, I have been Norman Sanso. I am Cecil Vakil. And we'll guys see you next week with another amazing episode of the MBS show. See ya. Adios. You know, a moving house would be really, really convenient for moving. Like, you don't really need to move everything. You don't even need to hire movers. The house can move on itself. We need to have that, man. Like, that tech needs to be real. But what if you don't need a mover but a shaker? Ah, uh, so the movers and shakers, eh? Yeah, movers and shakers, get jiggy with it.